Aloha teacher friends, it's Fleur um, from Aloha Monday Teaching and today I want to show you a very simple lab that reinforces what you've taught about air masses and how they interact um, to form fronts. So in this, in the air mass, if you're purchasing the air mass lab um, product, you'll get a PowerPoint that has a review of information about the different the four different kinds of air masses and um, the kinds of fronts they make the way they interact and things like that so in today's lab it's really simple materials you just need a clear shoe box type of thing and you'll need some water and some milk now you want to make sure the milk is cold because this is gonna represent the cold air mass in this lab. And I was thinking if you wanna try this, I didn't do this in this video, but you can maybe add some food coloring to the water first, and maybe that'll show the layers better. Um, so that is something you might wanna try. All right, so let's check out the lab. All right, in this air mass and front lab, students will need the container and they're going to have some room temperature water. You wanna fill it in about halfway or so. This isn't really halfway at all, but it'll work. Can you see? Okay. And then you can have them measure the milk. Let's just do, since I don't have a lot of water, I'm just gonna do about 150 milliliters. And what students are going to do is pour it slowly into on the side of the container and observe what happens and they're going to observe it at eye level. So they're going to pour it slowly. So what they should see is that the milk is sinking to the bottom of the container. And you can see the layer, you can see the milk at the bottom and then the water is at the top. Now the explanation for this is the water is representing the warm air mass and the milk is representing the cold air mass. And when you pour the milk in, these two air masses are meeting and the cold air is going to sink because cold air is denser. The warm air is going to rise. And um, so what's happening here is the milk is pushing the water up. So the cold air mass is pushing the warm air mass up. And that is going to create a cold front. And that's what this lab represents. So students would complete their lab sheet to show their understanding of how two fronts meet to form, how two air masses meet to form a front. Well, thank you for watching and I hope that helps you have some things to do um, with your students and helps them learn more about air masses and fronts. So if you liked what you saw, you can subscribe, um, click on the link in the description for more and I'll see you next time. Thank you.